listened to the views of members. Uh, we discussed it uh, comprehensively. And as a political family, we advised her to resign. The NRM party caucus, chaired by President Ewerim Seveni at Entebbe State House last night, told the embattled minister for the presidency, Maskoka Bakumba, that he must resign. The acting government chief whip, David Bahad, told NTV that the party would no longer tolerate corruption. And I think uh, this is a, a positive development in our own party. We are making some progress against the fight uh, on corruption. From today onwards, those ministers who know they have stolen or they have done a corrupt active, uh, acts should also resign before we get them. There has been outrage in parliament and the general public following reports that police recovered stolen UBC equipment from the FM radio station King's FM in Masindi owned by minister in charge of the presidency. The party chairman, President Yoweri Seven, called a prompt caucus meeting at State House in Tebe, where it is claimed that Kabakumba was given a fair hearing. MPs who attended the caucus meeting that ended at midnight same seven left the caucus members to decide Kabakumba's fate after it alleged that the minister's explanation to MPs was different from what he had given to seven in a private meeting. The MPs say that in the light of police evidence, they have no choice but to ask her to resign. According to the president, for him, he based his argument on two reports. One, the report by Honorable Kabakumba herself, then also the intelligence report. But you would clearly see from the position of the president that Honorable Kabakumba has a case, and a bad case, to answer. Uh, given the fact that she mentioned to us that she actually borrowed the mask, and we, we, we didn't see why someone should borrow a government property. And as, uh, as a caucus, we said we have no choice but to ask her to resign, not only to step aside, but to resign the position of the minister. Apart from one person, Honorable Mama Babazi, he's the only one who tried to defend Kabakumba Masiko, but the rest, we were in agreement that she should really resign. It comes as a group of supporters of Kawakumba, led by Chief Petitioner Mrs. Olivia Mugisha Atugonza, a voter of Bujenje County, handed over a petition to President Yoel Seven at State House, Nakasero. The 100 signature petition comes from supporters who call themselves concerned citizens of Nyoro region. The presidential press secretary Tamari Minun told NTV on phone that Kabakumba spent most of the day in State House Nakasero to meet President Yoel Seven, but it was not clear whether she tendered in her resignation. Meanwhile, Information Minister Mary Karoro said the government has not yet received her resignation letter yet. There is no official communication uh, to the effect that Honorable Kabakumba has resigned. And so we shall wait for Honorable Kabakumba's uh, reaction because she is uh, a minister and she's, uh, she represents people. And uh, so the ball is in her court. And I hope the caucus members continue to see the light and move this country forward. And I hope that the, by the time the caucus ended, she had prepared her resignation. Because we are not going to give her time to even think about the words put in the resignation letter. Wakumba, you have 24 hours. You resign. Or tomorrow we hand over our censure petition to the president. Everything is ready, the motion is ready, the petition is ready. The MP said the resolve of the NRM caucus should come as a warning sign to other government ministers involved in corruption that the NRM party will use their powers to force them out of office. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Parliament.